Vickers. Different number, Kane in the four. Now, Dale Jr. had to start this race from the back, but his 88's coming to the front. Eighth place and coming. We've seen these two guys. These two guys actually wrecked in practice. That was, uh oh, we got a smoker up in here. Somebody's got, got something blowing out. Who is it? J.J. Yaley, who raced his way into the 500 with a fine drive in Thursday's qualifying race. Drifting to the middle of the pack and trailing smoke. Caution is out for the second time. Yeah, I'd say he's putting down some oil. Got to be careful here, boys. Racing back to this Ooh. caution. Junior almost got turned around by Martin Truex. See, no, I, I don't understand it. They didn't get the message. The caution was out. They kept racing. Caution, back to the... When the caution comes out. Yeah, 10-4. I never, never heard NASCAR say it, man. I... Now watch the 88 coming to the caution flag. And Martin Truex tucked up underneath him. They don't know the caution's out. You just heard Junior getting on his spotter. They think, man, this is going to be easy right here. Boy, that luck would have been big right there. And the irony of that, when he wrecked in Wednesday's practice, it was Martin Truex Jr. in the 56 that was behind him that turned him sideways because they couldn't see. This well, they... caution flag is a break for the 18 because he did not get up to speed on the restart. Kyle Busch. Watch these two guys. The uh, same thing happened in practice. They ran up on some slow cars that were coming up to speed, I guess we should say. Jimmy Johnson right there. See those slow cars down to the right of the screen. They ran up on them, had to check up. Jimmy did, and that's how Junior ended up in a backup car. Same with Mark. Junior really disappointed, but uh, I think he's going to be fine. After winning the Daytona 500 pole, that practice crash put Dale Junior in this backup car for today's race.